Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of August. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or it may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. But if not, simply check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. So at the heart of this reading, we have the chariot. Well, the chariot is um, about movement, but the two sphinx are down. They're not standing. The charioteer is on board, but doesn't, maybe doesn't know how to get that chariot moving, or maybe he needs to believe in it, to trust it, to get it to move. Why is he in that position? He's in that position because of the tower. Something unexpected has arrived, something external. It could have been that this chariot was going in one direction, something unexpectedly arrives and boom, the chariot is stopped. And now he's like, well, how do I proceed from here? And this is what he's assessing with that seven of pentacles. Something has taken this person by surprise. I feel that this is a communication with that Ace of Swords um, and the Ace of Pentacles. This is something, you're assessing this, okay? Um, here you are. You're assessing the situation of this tower, this unexpected event of this new beginning, this communication that just, boom, came out of the blue. And where are you looking? You're looking back to the past. Hmm. Because in the past, this person may have said something that hurt you or made you upset. They did something that caused a lot of damage. They would have uh, most likely I mean, this fella here, he could have exited your life quickly and returns quickly. He like he would he would come back the same way he left, which appears to be what happened, or what is happening, or is about to. <laughs> yeah. So, um, depending where you are in this energy. You could be seeking more clarity uh, with regards to that person's intention. You're not trusting this chariot or this how to proceed because I have this nine of wands here. You're not trusting. Look, you have the, okay. You have the ace of wands over here and it's up here also. And it is um, a window uh or a door from the past that reopens. And um, you're looking at how you might feel about that now, possibly. You were once a couple with that person. So this more, more than likely it is a renewal. Um, yeah, because we have that. Okay, so this is somebody from your past who returns, he's here, you were a couple at one time. Um, you might be missing information. They're definitely wanting, there's, uh, there's like a renewed interest. So they want to have a new start with you. You're looking at the details. Um, you're looking at the past and you're remembering uh, that moment of parting. Uh, you have memories of the past I feel both the good and the bad, most likely. Um, but you're haunted by something in the past. Somebody wants back in, but you're haunted by something from the past. Something that caused you grief. I think that you want this person also, but uh, yes, you want this person also, but they've caused you a lot of grief in the past and that haunts you. Something perhaps that they said or a quick action they've done. 
that caused a lot of not just external damage but a lot of internal damage you know that stayed with you how do I proceed from here they come back and now they want to rebuild yep see here's that communication they want to rebuild there's probably information that you don't have you could be uh, almost paralyzed with fear you know um, because you're imagining based on past experiences you're imagining all these bad things that could possibly happen with the return of this person there was a confrontation in the past but in the past there was also supposed to be a conversation information uh, that got ended up getting hung up on a wall you never got that information you never got that truth there was a truth in the past that you you didn't receive because it ended before you could receive that information this is very important you need to know this you're another thing you need to know although I do not have the ace of cups here my king of cups is in the in the upright position so I would say that this person does love you and I feel you love them now let me see what you're worried about is what happened in the past because see you're looking at that knight of swords again you're looking at him where did I see there he is over here and here you were looking at him looking at the details here you're looking at him and you're wondering can we have that new beginning can we restore the order can I forgive them with justice here should I take this leap of faith I mean all you want You want someone to love you or you want someone to love and who loves you back that is what you want that is what you want and so here you are stuck in the past you dream you you dream of creating uh, this order or being able to but you're haunted by these demons you're haunted by the tower from the past however let me remind you that there's information that you don't have that you were supposed to get in the past that information is going to make the whole difference here that information was never spoken so see it feels somewhat chaotic um, the wheel of uh, the wheel of fortune is here and it is offering you a new opportunity with this person from your past it is inviting you to come and take a spin it's stepping into the unknown for sure 
you won't know where this is going to lead until you take that leap of faith. That's what the wheel is requiring of you. Take the leap of faith and trust. Trust in the flow. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.